<laughs> Sexual. Storyteller. Yeah, there's a story of the kid named Trap Bomb. He grew up underneath of the project sun. Yeah, he was under the poverty line, but he didn't really understand what the hell was going on with his life. Oh no, he didn't. All he understood was selling drugs and killing dudes. So let me tell you exactly where this got this dude. Yeah, so what happened to him? He had about 50 bricks. He's gonna pull up to these motherfuckers' crib, yeah. Well, it went wrong. He didn't understand. He had 53 bricks in his bag. He pulled up to the crib. They said, we got the money. Just come in and sit down. SpongeBob said, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I understand. So what happened? He went and sat down. Then this kid punched him right in his fucking mouth. Yeah. Dropped him right down to the ground He pulled out the nine and he almost shot Spongebob in his head, yeah But he jumped up and he got up out that bitch Then he didn't understand that he left all of those bricks So they just got 53 bricks for free when it's supposed to be a 100k deal But Spongebob got ripped away so he went down to the chum bucket And Plankton was standing in there, he said Plankton I got a job for you, I ain't even kidding man so what Plankton said is, he said, Spongebob, what is up? I know it's serious. I know you wouldn't come here unless it was. And he said, yes, yes, it is very serious. I went to these motherfuckers' cribs. When I got there, I pulled up. He said, come on and sit down. I got all of your stuff. But instead, he just... He just punched me in the face and stole 53 bricks from me He said 53 bricks, that's like a hundred K He said, yeah, I know it is, but I didn't get nothing in return I didn't get no pay Plankton said, yeah, cool He went and grabbed the mic and then he went and grabbed the tool He jumped up in the truck, he went to the crib and he got through the window Then he looked at these motherfuckers in the face with the death stare They knew he wasn't fucking around He popped every one of them until they was laying on the ground to say you don't fuck with us, and we the best. He grabbed all of the brief, briefcase, yeah. He grabbed up all the bricks, he grabbed up all the cash. He's basically robbing the place. He jumped out, went to the truck, and put everything in the bag, yeah. He went down to the chum bucket with everything. He gave it to SpongeBob and said, You owe me. SpongeBob said, What do you want in return? What do you want for the pay? Plankton said, I just need that recipe. He said, Okay, cool. There's nothing to say. That's a fake one with some fake bills. We was just doing that as a prank. So you never got it. But if you really want it, you gotta move Mr. Krabs' desk up out the way. There's a trap door underneath it. You gotta go down to the basement, and that's where the recipe is. Trust me on this. And Plain said, Yeah, cool. He went and done that. Yeah, it's cool. He got the recipe. He ran up out of the room, and then Mr. Krabs was standing there with the hip up on his knife. He shot him. Almost right between the eyes, Plankton dropped down, yeah, he dunked the bullet, yeah, just by a little bit, but he lost the formula, he ran about, and then Mr. Krabs just thought he grabbed the wrong one, it was out the safe, but the safe was still closed, but his desk was moved about the way, he said, Spongebob, you little bitch, I knew you tell, yeah, I know you a little snitch. Yeah, so what he did is he went up to Spongebob's crib, he said, I know what you did, he said, I didn't do shit, he said, listen, Plankton, figured it out, he finally figured it out, I know what he did, I know what he did, I heard the gunshots from the crib, yeah, but that wasn't the case, he did snitch, and then Mr. Krabs tried to shoot him, but Spongebob got up out of there with his tool, he went to the chum bucket, yeah, everything is cool. Plankton jumped up, he went over there to the crib, he got the recipe, and then he shot Mr. Krabs up in his face, yeah, he's blowing the crab up in the pot, so there ain't no evidence, but Squidward saw everything that the f*** it did, he saw everything, he saw absolutely it all, so what he did is he got up on the phone, he dialed 911, and then the cop showed up to the crib, up to the Krusty Krab, yeah, in fact he did, so, what happened is Spongebob and Plankton heard the sirens But they got up out the crib, they got everything They got the bands, they got the bricks, they got the recipe They put it in the truck and they got up out that beef They got up there, but they didn't get out Now they got to the chum bucket, but they knew where they was at So they pulled up with the FBI and the SWAT They walked up in the crib and everybody got shot, yeah No, every one of them got shot Plankton and Spongebob were standing there with a lot They were standing there with a bare machine gun Then they're standing there with a hundred round drum I ain't joking neither Yeah, they killed everybody But now they most wanted list in America
They went down to Mexico, yeah, in case you didn't know, that is actually a place on the water, yeah, it's right outside of the Bikini Bottom, yeah. So they went there and they was undercover forever, yeah. So they just living life, they selling drugs up in the streets, but they ended right up in the same street. They ended up in the same way they used to. If you wanna understand that, you gotta come back for part two. Axel is out. If you want part two, you gotta subscribe and give me clout.